I think the economic case for the surtax is just airtight. I uh, don't think there's any danger of overkill. I sometimes think there's a little danger of oversell, uh, but when the wolf is sniffing at the door, it's all right to holler wolf. Uh, because what we are buying, if we get the surtax, is first protection against an, a step up in the rate of inflation. Rate of inflation is 3%. I said it could readily be 5 or 6%. I'm not saying it'll stop inflation dead in its track. No one has made that claim. But 3% uh, inflation is far preferable to 5 or 6% inflation. Secondly, what we are buying is a better trade balance. If we let inflation, uh, the inflationary horse out of the barn, uh, we're going to stimulate our imports and cut back in our competitive position on exports. Third, we are certainly asking for another credit crunch if we don't uh, increase taxes. That would bring an untimely blow to domestic recovery and housing, and it's likely to have seriously disruptive consequences abroad. We've already forced the British, because we're sucking funds out of Britain with our high interest rates at this point, we've already forced them to move up uh, their interest rate a notch when they desperately need low interest rates to stimulate their recovery. Why is that surtax stalled on dead center? And the interesting answer is, as I think most of you know, that in terms of factors that are not much related to economics. It's stalled on dead center because of the miasma and resentment over Vietnam. Even though the surtax won't make one iota of difference in the flow of resources to Vietnam. If you have it, not any more resources will go. And if you don't have it, not any less resources will go.